off as an interpreter was the, the affect, which I'm going to tell you is probably the most important thing that, uh, that is, we as interpreters are. You have to match the affect because you are the difference between somebody getting aspirin for, for medicine or coding. I mean, you are that difference. If that deaf person is laying there and they're saying, but they're not talking, you have to say, ouch, oh my, and you have to, you have to react. You're going to feel stupid. You're going to feel like, oh my gosh, like, you know, am I supposed to sign that? I mean, because they're saying, they're, they're, they're freaking out. You have to do that. Because if you don't, if you say, I'm in pain, well, they're getting aspirin. But they're in a lot of pain. I mean, they're hurting. And it's also, you know, there's, there, there's, it's, it's, it's really imperative that you, you, you have to match the affect of that person. One of the most, I can't tell you and stress to you how important that is. Um, I mean, it's, it, I mean, I've, I've gone into job situations where there's another interpreter there who is really timid, who's, you know, nervous, and they're just trying to be nice and polite, and we are not polite. Sometimes we are the rudest people you've ever seen. Sometimes we swear, sometimes we cuss, sometimes we're abusers, sometimes we're like, you know, a wife who has been abused for 20 years. I mean, you, you have to become that person. You have to know their language. You have to know who they are. And if, it's a, and, and if it's a deaf person, I mean, you, you know, they're speaking. I mean, you're, you're the difference of, of like, again, like, I mean, if you're in a mental health situation, you are, you have, I mean, if they're talking about, the, the, the question is, uh, what did you have for breakfast today? And they're talking about red dots in the sky.